and welcome to episode 8 of Designers Learning jQuery. Today we're going to talk about children and parents. We did talk about these few methods when we did our DOM traversal episode, but today we're going to dig into those a little bit more and really make sure that the differences between them are super clear. Let's take a look at the sample file we'll be working with. All this file is, is a series of nested divs and they each have a different background color and they all have a white border applied. If we open up the code to take a look, you can see it's just one div nested inside another, nested inside another, and I've given them each their own class. And if we look in the CSS, I put a white border, a little margin and padding, and then assign different background colors to each of the different classes. Now what I also have is a no color class, which makes both the border and the background color gray. And we're gonna be using that to take a look at how parent and parents and also children and find work. So the first thing that we'll tackle is parent and parents. So let's go over here and let's start from div number five, which is the green one. And we'll go to our scripts.js and we'll select that div, which is the div with a class of color five. And we wanna get the parent and we'll go ahead and add that class of no color. Now, if I come over here and refresh the page nothing happens because I forgot my dot. So let's go back over here again and now we can see that div number four now has the no color class and it has a gray background and also a gray border. Now if I come back over here and I'm just going to duplicate that and comment it out and then we'll make this the parents selector. I refresh the page and now you can see that all of the parents that are wrapped around div number five, going all the way up the DOM, now have the no color class. So we take a look over here. This is the div that I selected. When I said parent, it only got this div with a class of color four and applied the no color class there. But when I say parents, that selector goes all the way up the DOM and selects all of the parents. And it additionally also selects the body tag and the HTML tag. If we look in the browser and open the Chrome developer tools, you can see the no color class is applied to the HTML element and also to the body element and to all of the divs that wrap around the div with a class of color five. Now we can make that more selective. We could, for example, pass a selector to the parents method. In this case, we could say div. And then what that will do is it will no longer select the body tag and the HTML tag. That selector will be limited just to the divs that are in the document that wrap around the div number five. We can also add a selector to the parent class. In this case, that doesn't really affect anything since the parent is a div already. But if we had a case where we wanted to select the parent only if it was an aside or only if it was a div or only if it was a paragraph, we could pass a selector in there to make sure that it was checking the parent to make sure it matched that selector before it performed any actions that were on the rest of the line of code. So that's the difference between parent and parents parent will select only the direct parent of the item where we're starting from and parents will select all the parents all the way up to the HTML tag that wraps the entire document. You can filter that selection by passing in a selector to the parents method. Now that we have parent and parents out of the way, let's take a look at find and children. In this case, I want to start at a slightly different place in the document. So I'm going to select div number three, which is the orange one, and I'll say find and add class of no color. Now we already know that if we don't pass a selector to the find method, it doesn't find anything. So the find method is a little bit different in that we have to tell it exactly what we're looking for. So in this case, we could just say div. And now you can see that find has selected, we started from here, from number three, the orange div, and it has selected all of the divs that are nested inside. 
So the find method will find any element that matches this selector inside the element that we started from. Now let's compare that to children. And we'll refresh this page and once again we're starting from the orange div and you can see that by saying children that I'm only getting the direct child and that the divs that are nested inside that then are no longer selected. So you might wonder, well parent gets just the direct parent, well parents goes all the way up the chain. Here it seems as though it would be child and children and child would select direct children and children would select all of the children, but that's actually the opposite. Children only selects one level down. Let's take a look at why that is. If we come over here, we're starting from this div with a class of color three, which we know is orange, and we're saying children, which is selecting only color four. Well, we might have multiple divs with a class of color four inside. Let me comment this out for just right now and take a look at what this looks like without JavaScript. So I have a div with a class of number three and inside a div with a class of four that happens to contain divs five, six, and seven. But then I also have several other divs that are also direct children of number three that don't happen to contain other divs. So in this case, if I uncomment that and come back over here and refresh this, you can see that all of the direct children of number three are now without color, so they all have the no color class. So the reason that children selects only direct children is because it's possible to have more than one direct child of a node. Going up the other way, it's not possible to have more than one direct parent. Each element is only going to have one direct parent. Going down, you can have multiple direct children. So you use children to select the direct children, and then you select find to dig a little deeper into the DOM and find things that are buried a little bit deeper. Now what we can also do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and bring it down and uncomment it, and I'll comment that line out. What I could also do is use find, but only select divs that are inside other divs. So if we refresh the page, we're starting from number three, and I'm selecting divs inside other divs. So number four in this case doesn't get selected because once you're looking inside number three, four isn't inside another div. So let's take a look. We're starting from here, and our selector is a div inside a div. When we start from this point and go down, this div is not wrapped in another div because this one doesn't count. This is where we started from. But this one is, this one is, and this one is. So we could use this to get more specific about what things were actually selected. And let's take a look at a more real world example. So here I have a page set up very much like you'd set up a website, but it's very simple. So we have a header, we have a sidebar, we have a main content area, and we have a footer. Now you'll notice inside the content area, we have one paragraph that happens to be indented. And if we look in the HTML code, you'll see that that one paragraph is actually wrapped in a block quote. So let's go into our JavaScript and let's select that main area. And let's find the direct children. and let's add a class of special. And now I've styled this special class to just turn the text hot pink. So we'll refresh the page and you can see that we are selecting all of the paragraphs, but we're not selecting the one that's wrapped inside of a, the block quote. So I'm able to filter out my selection and get just the direct children. Now this would work if I had some sort of content in the sidebar and I only wanted the direct children to be styled, but the ones that were nested inside to be left alone it would be possible there as well. If we wanted to select all of the paragraphs, even if they were wrapped in a block quote, then I could just switch this over to use find, whoops, find, get my fingers on the right keys, find instead of children. And now you can see that it's selecting all of the paragraphs on the page because we're not limiting the selection to the direct children. So I hope this has helped clear up any confusion you might have had around parent and parents and children and find and how they get used inside of jQuery. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. 
If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about jQuery, pick up a copy of my book, jQuery for Designers, available now 